With all the talk about tax cuts, you still need to plan whatever you're going to do with your money. You want to make smart choices. So we've invited from the Bank of Hawaii, Iris Okama, to come in and give some of them to us. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Where do we start? It's such a complicated matter. Where's a good starting point? A good starting point is to know yourself. Make a reality check. Take an inventory. Um, know yourself. Um, a lot of times when people go grocery shopping or they look for a car, plan a wedding, they plan great details. Mm -hmm. They don't do this as much with their own lifestyle. So maybe it's a really good idea to know what your financial health is, uh, take an inventory of your assets, um, and just know what your lifestyle is. That is one of the difficulties. We don't realize that you're spending so much on going out to dinner or so forth unless you see it in black and white. So how detailed do you need to be with that? I think you need to identify uh, what your needs are, what your lifestyle is. Um, if you're married, um, it might be difficult, but it's really important to talk with your spouse because some people keep their assets separately, some people keep it jointly, mm -hmm. but they do need to make a plan. And you know when we travel, we go to Google and uh, we make a little map of where we're going. Mm -hmm. So we need to plan our financial destination. Um, you know, many of us, as we grow older, need to think about long-term health needs, um, our health condition, and how much it will cost to sustain that as we get older. Mm -hmm. So um, I, th I think those are really part of the estate planning ideas that we need to think of. And having that rainy day, you just never know where something else is going to cop up. Any other tips that you can give our viewers? Yes, um, and it's th I think there's an important distinction between income and estate taxes and we are in a very unique position now because uh, at the end of 2010 Congress passed this uh, Bush tax cut and mm -hmm. estate planning exemptions were part of it and today if you die this year you can exempt five five million one hundred twenty thousand dollars from taxes but if those um, tax cuts are not renewed our tax, estate tax will go down to a million dollars. So it's a big difference what mm -hmm. you have in your estate when you die, five million versus a million dollars. And that debate continues. We'll keep following that. Iris, thank you so much for joining us for Smart Money Monday. Thank you so much. We're back with more on Hawaii News Now coming up after this.